Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we're sitting here at my desk. I just got home from work, not but like an hour ago, and to a surprise, I had two packages waiting for me. Uh, I was curious to see what one looked like, so I had already cut it open. This is one of the packages. We got one big package. I had to pick this up from FedEx, um, and then this is the other package, a little bit smaller. These two do go together. So, since this one's already open, and it's colorful, and you'll immediately know what it is if I open that up. I'm gonna open this one up first. This is like basically just taped together. This box, has, it's a white box. As you can see, like there on the corner, this orange tape is completely covering the box. So I can't find my knife. This is the knife that came with my bottle wrap. Yep, there it goes. And moment of truth. We have hardware, two Allen keys, and a whole bunch of bolts. And uh, okay. I was gonna say they take this back on here. So, as you can see what this is, it's a quick release. It says Sparko on it. I'm not sure if this is actually a Sparko quick release. I bought it off of eBay. It's like 30 bucks on eBay and Sparko quick releases are a lot more than $30. This is the part that goes to the, uh, uh, for the steering, steering column. Cool, it didn't fly off. You push it. Ah, my fingers. <laughs> Pull the steering wheel off and that's how quick release steering wheels work. You have these little divots here and you have ball bearings on the inside so that it's able to spin on there. So say you don't put it on right the first time, what you do is you, oh shit. <laughs> you put it on and then you just kind of spin it until it clicks down. So I'll show you that actually so you can see it. So I'm gonna pull the collar, push this on and I'll spin it until it clicks up. As you can already tell what's in this box, it's the other piece of this. So this is going to be the hub adapter. This goes on here. And then in connection to these two, you have what's in the third box. Which is our steering wheel. So as you can see, there you go. Of our NRG steering wheel. And it's packaged onto a piece of cardboard and this bag. I got a suede, I got one of the suede brushed aluminum uh, ones with the horn. Uh, on the back, it's bolted onto this piece of car, it's bolted onto this piece of cardboard, albeit not too well, but it's still bolted on here. Uh, and that's just so it doesn't go flying around and in the box. Uh, you have, toss this off the side, in the box we have our Allen key to install everything and an NRG sticker, which I'll put somewhere. Uh, but yeah, got our six speed and the NRG to add to the collection. Right now I have a life proof sticker on the back of my car. Um, that's just because it matches the same color of the car. I'm gonna assemble these things together real quick and I'll come back to you and show you how it looks and how it's supposed to work. A few moments later. All right guys, so it took some finagling, but everything together. Uh, I had to use the Sparco mounting hardware that came with the quick release uh, because the other bolts weren't long enough and they weren't threading into the actual quick release. But everything working, you pull the collar on the quick release. You can see there, pull this guy out. That's mounted on there. All the hardware and everything inside is all wired up. And I just realized something that I'm gonna have to take this all apart because there's a nut that goes in on the car whenever we install it. But uh, yeah, this is just like a dry fit right here. Uh, this is the only thing that I can leave assembled. The good thing is, is that you don't have to line it up every time. Say you're just hopping in the car and you need to slide it on. The collar does not slide down until the bearings line up. So as you can see, it slid down right there. Uh, and then once it's there, there is literally no play in this. As you can see, if I twist, trying to twist it, there's zero play. So, um, looks like it wasn't actually such a bad thing. All these things are high quality. This wheel does not bend. This thing is solid. NRG, doing good. I'll leave all the products down in the description if you want to take a look at it. The steering wheel itself was 130. The hub I got for about 80 bucks off of eBay. It is an NRG hub, so no need to uh, 
go crazy because it's an eBay, eBay product. Now the Sparkle one, that's the thing that I was not sure if it was an actual Sparkle hub or not. Uh, I'm thinking it is, it's just like on a, has a really good price. And that's only because of the quality of it. Everything was super high quality. Uh, but if you do go with this, you are going to need some terminals. I had these laying around from a few other projects I had done a while ago. But uh, you'll need some terminals. Uh, two, two of the actual fins. I used the smallest ones which were in here, which I think were 22 gauge. So it's 22 to 16 gauge. I need the little part with the fin on it. Or the other side, you just have to pull one of the terminals off because the Sparco hub has two of the female connections. And then the wheel has a female and a male. So you need to replace one of those. Uh, or both of them and the NRG hub same deal. It has a female and a male Where the Sparco only had two females on both sides, which made no sense, but uh, yeah Everything's good in a few days. Uh, I'll be coming up with a video of me installing this I'm assuming I'm gonna have to get a rig something for the connection on this because I'm pretty sure um, Pretty sure this is not gonna work just by itself. So I'm gonna have to like Gotta rig something with hopefully one of these connectors and my wire cutters and the soldering iron. But uh, we'll see if we can get that together. Um, and again, this is just for the horn. If you're doing strictly racing, you don't need a horn. In a few days, I'll have my full exhaust. Uh, I'm still waiting on the install for that. It's super rainy in the beginning of April now. Uh, so I haven't really been able to get outside and get under the car to do that since I don't have a garage. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you want to see more from me or want to get alerts on whenever I upload something, go ahead and subscribe and comment if you want to see anything else. Uh, give me ideas for stuff to do to the car. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.